the Stafford Voice. Profiles in History Nicknamed Honest John, Benjamin Rush described him as a plain, honest, well-meaning Jersey farmer with but little education, but with good sense and virtue enough to pursue the true interests of his country. John Hart was born in the year 1713 on the family farm in Hopewell Township, New Jersey. His education was modest, having never attended a fancy college. Rather, he worked hard helping build up the 400 acre family farm and over time with the aid and investment from other family members he grew it to include a grist mill a fulling mill and a sawmill in 1740 he married deborah scooter and together they would have 13 children hart was a generous presbyterian who actually donated land to the baptists in 1747 so they could build a church in 1750 john was elected to the Hunterton County Board of Chosen Freeholders. However, it was his generosity combined with his work as a judge that got him elected to the New Jersey Colonial Assembly in 1761, where he would serve until 1771, during which he was appointed to the local Committee of Safety and the Committee of Correspondence, as well as becoming a judge on the Court of Common Pleas. During his time with the Committee of Safety, and having been opposed to the Stamp Act, he gained the attention necessary to be selected as a delegate for New Jersey in 1776. You see, the New Jersey delegates in the First Continental Congress were opposed to independence, so they were dumped, and the Provisional Congress selected delegates to replace them, John Hart being one of them. He arrived in Philadelphia just days before the votes for independence would be cast, voting in favor of the, De the Declaration of Independence, earning him the honor of later signing it in August of 1776. With that behind him, and New Jersey under their new state constitution, Hart was elected to the first New Jersey State General Assembly and was made Speaker. As Speaker, he would take on the additional duties as Treasurer of the Council of Safety, President of the Joint Meetings of the New Jersey Congress, and Commissioner of the State Loan Office. Now, there was a period of about a month that the Assembly shut down because, well, it was just unable to work without its Speaker, because on October 5th, 1776, John went home to see his sick wife. In an attempt to return to the assembly, he would be called back home where his wife would pass away on October 8th. Now, By November, the British were closing in on New Jersey, and in December, they were close to John Hart's home. His two younger children that were still living at home had been sent off to stay safely with friends. And because he was Speaker of the Assembly, he was a marked man. He fled to the nearby Sourland Mountains, where he would hide out in a cave for a few days while the British plundered his home. In 17, June of 1778, uh, Hart played host to Washington and 12,000 recharging troops who camped in his fields. Unfortunately, he didn't live to see the end of the Revolutionary War. On May 11, 1779, at the age of 68, John Hart died on his estate at Hopewell from a case of gravel, which we call today kidney stones. And that is this week's Profiles in History.